Hey everyone, it's Andrew from MAO Magic, and here I'm going to review Tile, which is finally launching after its long self-starter campaign over a year ago. Now you can buy the tiles in different sets, either one for $20 or a four-pack for $60. Here we have the four-pack in its kind of nonchalant packaging. You don't get much, simple instructions, adhesive stickers, and the tiles themselves. The tiles are a little bit larger than I expected them to be. The front has a simple logo, and the E is a pressable, which is going to be used for activation. There is a slit along the side, which also helps for the sound to emit from the inside, which allows you to help find them. The tiles themselves connect over BLE, which works on most uh, recent iOS devices. Currently, there is no Android support. Now here, these are the adhesion stickers that it comes with. Obviously, there is a notch cut out of the corner for the loop or key ring hole on the side of the tile. And these will allow you to pretty much stick the tile to anything. They recommend holding it for about 15 seconds to make sure it really stays good. We have two on the four pack, but they will come one per if you buy them individually. So we've got an iPhone 5S and adding a tile is super simple. It's gonna hit add tile. It's gonna say, did you really press that E? I didn't do it. So you can go ahead and press the E then hit yes, I did hit that button. Then you can go ahead and place the tile on the screen, but in this case it was very fast and did it before I even got a chance. So then go ahead and name our tile. We'll name this one Charger. We then can go ahead and add a photo wherever we want this tile to go. Simple as that. Then we go ahead and finish the activation. It'll beep, letting you know that it's done. Now since this uses BLE, which is Bluetooth Low Energy, you'll get about a year lasting on the battery, which is not user replaceable. You can see on a map where your tile is or hit the button to make it make noise. In this case, it knows it is very close and says usually within an arm's length, so I should be able to find what I'm looking for. That said, the Bluetooth should be about 50 to 150 foot in range, depending on your environment that's around you. This is great for keys as well as many other devices. Now, one thing that's cool about you know Tile and what makes it unique is that it's kind of crowd supported. So say something gets stolen like a bike and you have this mounted underneath the seat. Anytime another tile user would pass by that bike, you would get notified through the servers and their app that they have on their phone to you of where your bike is. And this does not send location data about that user who sent it and that user has no idea that they sent it to you. So it's really good about being secure but also allowing you to find your stuff that's either misplaced or stolen. Stuff like wallets, um, maybe your laptop, or even a charger are all great ideas of things that can be helped to be found with Tile. My only qualm is that sometimes it's a little bit slow in connecting. Other than that, it's been great. Make sure you guys throw up any questions in the comments, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time.